Hello everyone, this is Jia. Today I want to talk about unlearning a toxic art education. This will be the first in a series of quite a few videos on problems of a toxic art education, how to possibly unlearn them. The first issue I want to talk about here in this video is called the identity crisis. Essentially, when you go to art school, you have to sort of believe in yourself and your identity as an artist, that you deserve to be there along with all of your peers, whether they're better or worse than you, you have to believe that, you know, you belong here, you deserve to be here. And a toxic art education can take that away from you, take away your identity of an artist where they go like, oh, you, why are you here? You can't draw, you're not good enough, you will never be good enough. The moment someone can take the identity away from you that, oh, um, you're, you're a creator, you're an artist, you're a creative, you're a designer, whatever, if somebody can take that away from you and you lose that identity, it is very easy to just give up altogether and not want to continue. Not want to, you know, continue drawing, giving up and stuff like that. Because um, being an artist is not like, uh, what do I say? It's like you can draw even if you're a doctor, you can draw even if you're a lawyer, you can be an artist on the side. Art is that kind of thing where the, the, the great thing is anybody can do it. And you know, saying that you can't be one because you're, you're not a good one or you know, stuff like that. It really pulls and takes away the identity from you and you usually end up like, oh, I, I don't do this anymore. And I think the proper way to address this issue is always you have to reclaim back your identity. You have to be able to proudly say for yourself that yes, I deserve to be here, I am an artist, I deserve to study, improve and all that. You deserve to be where you are. Whether you want to use spite, because a lot of people use spite, right? When, when people tell them you cannot do it, they well, you, you tell me I cannot do it, I'm going to prove to you that I can do it, I'm going to use you know all this um, spite and anger and prove to you that you ca I, I can do it. Whether you want to use that, that's one thing, or whether you want to do it in a more different way. As long as you reclaim the identity and say, I am an artist, I can, I am allowed to be here to create. You cannot stop me. You, there, there is nobody that can stop me. Allowing yourself to claim that identity back from the people that took it from you, I think that is the way to go to unlearn this kind of toxic part of art education. Because even if you are, say, really not suited for art school, the curriculum isn't for you, you cannot keep up or whatever, and you drop out and you become something else, you, you can, you're still an artist, you still can do things on the side. It's not as if that, oh, you, you don't have a diploma in this, you don't have a degree in that, you're not an artist. That's not true at all. There's so many self-taught artists that are famous or successful and everything. And you have to remember that, especially in art, it's not the end or be all. You have to really take back that identity. So in summary, because I think I already started repeating a lot of my points in different ways, uh, the summary would be, you deserve to be an artist, and you have to tell yourself that. It can't be I tell you you deserve it, you have to give it to yourself and claim the identity yourself, and reclaim, claim, and not let it be taken away from you by anybody perceived as a figure, uh, authority figure, lecturer, um, your, he your artist hero, whatever, you cannot let anybody else take it. You have to hold on to it and keep creating and remember why you want to do it in the first place. Remember why you want to express yourself, why you want to tell certain stories, why you want to do it. Always remember that and keep it at the core and never let anybody take that away from you. So yeah, that's my first video in a series of videos on unlearning a toxic art education. Uh, if you like it, please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating!